Hey friends, welcome back to Farmhouse Flare. I just wanted to make a short video here. It is a snowy weekend. We're getting a little snowed in. So I was just kind of cleaning, organizing the house a little bit. And um, I was cleaning my fridge, cleaning out some old food. And I was just about to throw something away until I realized that I could make a good smelling potpourri from it. Um, the clue might be on the counter right behind me. Potpourri is something that can be made so easily and it's so versatile. You can literally throw whatever you want into it and make a great smelling potpourri for your house with really simple ingredients. So if you've never made a potpourri before, I'm telling you it is so easy. I make it all the time to make my house smell super good and I usually let use leftover scraps from dinners and from my garden. And a lot of it is just using, you know, fresh herbs and spices, um, fruits, and just adding some water to it. So it's really that simple to make a good smelling potpourri. So I thought I would show you guys how simple it really is because I'm just thinking of this on the whim by myself, no recipe that I'm following. I'm just putting stuff together and I'm sure it's gonna turn out to be a great smelling potpourri because it's seriously that easy. So if you wanna know how to make a good smelling potpourri, watch this video and I'll show you how simple it really can be. Let's get started. to throw away some of these oranges because they're starting to get a little soft and old and the outside of the rind was kind of getting a little moldy in some areas so I was about to throw them away or go throw them down back for the animals and I thought you know what before I throw this away let's keep the skins and make some good smelling potpourri orange obviously the citrus scent is really a nice wintry um, scent for your home. So I thought I would try to use some of these orange rinds in my potpourri along with maybe some cinnamon and um, some pine from my pine um, clippings that I have outside and some vanilla extract. So that's what I'm gonna put together. I might throw in a little bit of other spices like I like using cloves and I like using nutmeg and I also really love using rosemary and thyme but I don't have any rosemary on hand right now. I do have some dried thyme in my pantry so I might decide to add a little bit of that in but for right now let's just get started with the orange which is pretty much the base of the potpourri and where I'm getting started with it. So. I'm just slicing my orange and I'm just going to use all of the rind. And I really don't even mind if I keep some of the juice or some of the actual fruit because it's just potpourri. So if anything, it's just going to make it smell even better. Um, it's not like, you know, we're eating it or anything. So you don't have to have the fruit fully out of your orange. So I'm just gonna kind of like slice it up here a little bit into some pieces. All right, so now all we're gonna do is Add the oranges right into the pot and you just need a small pot um, for potpourri. Just a small pot like this really will throw off a good scent into my whole house. So it's up to you how much you want to make if you have a lot of leftovers but for me I only ever need a small saucepan size like this. This is usually the pot that I use for my potpourri specifically. Now we're gonna come over to my super unorganized pantry 
and I'm going to grab some cinnamon sticks and I might throw in a little bit of thyme, some whole cloves. I like to use whole cloves. I love, love, love the smell of cloves. And last but not least, we're gonna grab a little bit of some vanilla extract. The thing about potpourri, guys, is that you can be as creative as you want. There's no right or wrong way to make it, and you can test, you know, it's like trial and error. You can experiment and test things out because it's really ultimately about the scents and the smells that you favor in your home. You can add some essential oils if you want. It's whatever you want. I really like the really homey scent, so I like to use spices and herbs that I have in my pantry along with the fruit, as you can see, from like oranges, apples, pears, anything like that. So I'm gonna add I'm just add, gonna add a little handful of whole cloves. And as your potpourri starts to cook and really smell, you can decide if you wanna add a little more of something. So like, once it starts cooking, I might go back and add a little bit more cloves if I want some more. Oh, these cinnamon sticks aren't even open. I'm just gonna put one cinnamon stick in for now because, to be honest, cinnamon sticks are a little pricey. We're gonna add, oh, my thyme isn't even open. So now we're gonna add some thyme. Maybe like a tablespoon or a teaspoon of some vanilla. Just fill it up with some water until it's completely covered and turn your stove on like medium at first just to get it hot and going and then you can turn it down to on low and just let it simmer and really let those aromas come out of your potpourri. So seriously guys, it is that easy. I just made this under 10 minutes. Ideally it would have been under five minutes if I wasn't recording and making a video on it, but seriously, it's just about being creative, using what you have on hand, and you can have a really yummy smelling house with all these ingredients that you have on hand. And it's all natural too, so really doesn't get any better than that. So I'm gonna let it get to a nice simmer and then I can turn it down on low and then all the aromas will just naturally cook off and make my whole home smell really, really good. And this will also last for a few days. You don't have to throw this away. Um, just make sure that you keep filling up your pot with water. As the water cooks off, you wanna keep refilling it I did make that mistake once where I let the water completely burn off so then everything in my potpourri ended up burning as well. So as long as you're staying on top of it and you keep checking on it, um, you could let this burn for a whole day. It'll last for two to three days usually. So it is not a one-time use. You can reuse your potpourri for few consecutive days in a row. Mm, I really wish I could, I really wish I could tell you guys how good this smells right now. So this is a keeper for sure. I would highly recommend what I just put in this pot. So. <laughs> I just personally love the smell of thyme and I love the smell of rosemary. They're both pretty similar. Thyme and rosemary, um, they you can use one or the other if you don't have a certain one on hand. Um, I really like the smell of both of them. Um, the thyme and rosemary. 
just really bring out that homey scent along with the cloves. I love mixing them together. And um, the smell of the cinnamon with the orange rinds gives it a really nice fresh winter scent. So I think this is a really good recipe for a winter scent. Mm. It smells so good. I wish I could make this into a candle, guys. Mm. I usually add vanilla extract to almost every potpourri that I make um, because the vanilla extract just kind of brings out all of the other flavors that, or all the other scents, I should say, that you put in the pot. So it just kind of makes it smell a little sweet and really, what's the word I'm looking for? It really, uh, what is the word that I'm looking for? I can't think of the word that I'm thinking, that I'm trying to think of right now, but I'll remember it in the middle of the night tonight. Emphasizes? No, that's not right. You guys get what I'm saying. It really makes, it just makes all the other flavors very powerful, really brings them out by adding that vanilla extract in. I wish you guys could smell this right now, but I hope you're gonna make it yourself and then you can smell how good this smells. I can't wait for the rest of my house to smell like this. Usually, Give it about like a good mm, 15 to 20 minutes, maybe a half an hour or so, depending how big your house is, for the aromas to travel through your home. Normally, it makes my whole kitchen smell super good um, because I don't really have like an open concept house, so the kitchen is kind of blocked in a little bit, but the smells usually does travel at least into my dining room, back to my bedroom, and into my living room. So I can usually smell it pretty much in my entire house. Um, it travels pretty far, so with just this little pot. So now that it's really starting to simmer and bubble, um, I don't want it to burn obviously, so I'm just gonna turn my stove down to low and it'll calm back down and then it'll, it's just gonna cook on a nice low simmer and the scents will still really travel throughout my home. So it's been probably about like only 10 minutes now. My whole kitchen is smelling really good at this point. I haven't really walked through the rest of my house yet, but I'm sure it's either already smelling good or it will be very shortly. So just in that short of time, I can make my whole house smell that good by making something in under five minutes. It's really that easy, guys. I highly recommend making potpourris if you've never done so before. I actually find it to be really fun because like I said, you can be really creative about it and try new things and experiment all the time. I have a certain recipe that is my favorite that I use all the time and it may or may not be Williams Sonoma Copycat Potpourri. May or may not be. But it smells really freaking delicious guys, let me tell you. But for that one I really like to use fresh thyme or rosemary um, stems. So it just gives off a little bit of a stronger scent than the dried stuff in my pantry. So I will save that one for a later date once I get um, the ingredients that I need. Although, I will tell you, if you want to know my favorite potpourri recipe and you don't want to wait, it is listed in my blog. If you go to my website, link in bio. Um, you can go find the blog post that I made about that specific potpourri recipe. And that is it guys. Like I told you, this was super easy, super cost effective, and you can really make your house smell really good by making a simple potpourri like this from using simple and natural ingredients that you have on hand right here in your own kitchen. So. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this short video on how I made my own potpourri and I literally just made it on the fly. I hope that you make this recipe as well. If you do, please let me know how you like it in the comment section below. And as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Farmhouse Flare Co. if you enjoyed this video. So thank you so much for watching this video and visiting Farmhouse Flare today. I will see you guys shortly with the next one. Bye now. Okay, one last smell. Mm, okay.